Well, the point I made is not that all young people are not in rebellion, because there are still kids in rebellion today, but the way I see it is that the kids who are still rebelling and therefore are going through the same kind of adolescence that their parents and their grandparents and their great-grandparents went through are museum's pieces because uh, the, the young people who seem to be really taking cognizance of the world that we live in today uh, are trying to adapt to that world, not by looking backward at what was, but are trying to adapt to this new situation. Now, my generation being very, uh, very threatened by the new world that, is, that we are surrounded by, are taking the young people's adaptation to that new world as rebellion against us because partly I think we are very hurt in our egos uh, that, that the young people are paying no attention to us. And so if we at least have the fantasy that what they're doing is against us, then you know, we become important again, because otherwise we, we can't stand the thought that we don't matter. And the, the striking thing is that to the young people that they're so busy trying to find out just exactly what that new world is like, how one best lives in that new world, that they really have no time to worry about us if we want to help them, they are so glad that we come. They're very hungry for us to come and participate, but they have no time uh, to wait to wait for us, or you know, I mean, or to to look backwards. So I do not find in the young people today uh, that that they are rebellious. But I do find that teachers, parents, uh, ministers in the churches, and others continuously talk about the kids rebelling because the kids are adapting to what they see as a different reality. Now, I've come to the point where I have come to accept that there really is a different reality today uh, than, than the, the, the traditional one that I, in a way, have lived most of my life in. Could you just briefly say what that new reality is? That new reality is uh, that uh, developments are going to be much more rapid, uh, that uh, changes are going to occur at an unpredictable rate and in an unpredictable direction. Uh, that mankind right now is facing questions that it has never had to face before. And those don't just involve such things as the bomb, but they involve the question of overpopulation, the morality of having children, and thereby basically question the function, the traditional function of the family. Uh, they involve pollution, uh, and they involve something that Dr. Clayton Fever at Oklahoma University has talked about, that in the last five years, mankind suddenly finds itself in a situation it has never been in before, that rather than to choose between good and evil, as we have always been able to do traditionally anywhere in the world, suddenly we have to choose between two values. Uh, you know, uh, like, like uh, Dr. Uh, well, I can't think of his name right now, uh, but one of the ecologists was saying the uh, farmer wants to raise more 